previously on Space Bells. The Retro Federation is going on lockdown, uh, as well as as well as ours, sir, Director. Commander, we have a situation. How bad is it? What's going on? It's bad, Commander. Very bad. Cap Commander's log, supplemental. We are at the Zyvo Quadrant. We're at the, the Warp Gate, Xerix Warp Gate Station. And somewhere in the, in the Zyvo Quadrant. According to what, what we're about to learn, it seems that something is going on in, in, our, in, the, in both Retro Federation and Aztec Space. Brief us, command. Brief us, Joe. Uh, Commander, we have a problem. The this the the Zeta virus has and a certain of Zeta virus has come from from the Zeta Zero shards are dropping all over the galaxy, every single colony planet, in both systems, both. Both Aztec and and Retro Federation space, people are are getting infected by the Zeta virus. How, what what kind of shards are we talking about? They're invisible shards, Commander. Or any, each of them are each it occurs at a certain time of point in the from our net from Leon's and Leon. Tell me, tell me what you tell me. Well, sir, Commander. It happens every every of every once every ten solar years, Commander. It seems that this has been going on since that it had this had happened, and uh, since the end of our bat and the battle of the, of the Zeta Quadrant, Commander, our, our where we made our our stand against the um, Asset Corporation before the treaty. I see. How many how many casualties are we looking are we at right now? Are we looking at? We're receiving order that there's been a ton of casualties, Commander. And both the both the leaders of the Retro Federation and the Asset Corporation are, are advising people to to stay indoors and and to not and, and to to stay and to stay six feet away from anybody. I see, and they're and they're ordering any anybody who who is traveling beyond to to stay on in their system to stay on their planet. Yeah. Commander, we're also we're about um, we're going to be receive we are to receive we are to we're about to, we're going to be receiving a call from the admiral from Admiral Ness very soon, Commander. I see. You know, I'm I've uh, Bendy. Yeah, I need you to I need to go back go down to Science Bay. I need you to look up all archives about the Zeta virus because I know there's probably there should be a cure that lies beyond the Zeta quadrant. I need you to look up any information. Yes, sir. And tell me, get me of any information you can find. You you we we have no time to lose. Yes, sir. Me, Ben, me, Boris, and I'll get right on it, Commander. Count on me. Or waiting for a call, uh, Jack. Especially if you do a reaction, because uh, I think which reaction are we doing, Commander? Well, I think it's time we return to one of our favorite viewers and one I've been wanting to react to for quite some time. All right, I can do it for you, Commander, if you want. That'll be great, Jack. Hi, everybody. Hi, students. I'm Jack Panda. With today's reaction, we are going to be going into. We're going back to our fellow reviewer, Phelus, which is my. He, which is my, he's my favorite reviewer, and we're going to see today's we're going to review is going who is going to be on the uh, bootleg version of Ninja Turtles called Power Five. But fair warning, guys. What I've been hearing that this is going to be uh this this is going to be a foreign language, which means there's going to be subtitles. So. uh... 
Yeah, bear with us for this, for this reaction, okay? If you liked today's video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also, please support this week's channel shoutout, which goes to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Please support Linkar's channel, Oh, because I am a big fan of his channel, and you can use any subscribers you can get. Alright then, let's get started, guys. Link in the description. Three, two, and go. Inside a GoBot Power Warrior. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this. Let's do this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it does look a bootleg. <laughs> Yeah, like I said already. Luckily for me, I was able to get one done. My friend Michelle, who lived in Korea ah. for a while teaching English, did a translation script for me, and then I turned that into subtitles. So, nice. Yeah, this is the most work that's gone into a review before I even start scripting anything. All right. Just so that I could know what was going on. But I think it was <laughs> quite worth it. Is seeing the Ninja Turtles dumped into this movie <laughs> I know. It's going to lead into the 100th episode of Bootleg Zones, where I'm going to be talking about the toys that were released alongside it, which kind of seems like it was the main point of the whole thing. Hmm. The media created to help sell toys is a Whoa. good thing. Old time Ninja Turtles. Turtles. But one created to sell knockoffs and bootlegs, well, those don't happen quite as often. <laughs> see the name of the company that was selling the Power 5 toys in the opening Popeye. Oh, is there a man that's doing that? This movie isn't even that original as the Japanese machine robo version of the Power <laughs> System. Wow. Like Power System 5. It's like a Transformers. <laughs> what a Transformer. I can't be that upset about it is they've got a rockin' <laughs> Power 5 theme song. Oh, that's here. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. This is a live action movie. Some parts of it, like the space battles, are done with animation because that was easier for them than any model work, probably. And it's not <laughs> Wow, cartoon oh. fearless. Wow. The opening immediately lets us know that the people who created this probably knew little to nothing about the Ninja <laughs> Turtles, as wow. the turtles in this movie are aliens from another planet called Battlestar. Well, that goes out the window. Ninja Turtles as aliens. Why does that sound familiar? Hmm. Because it's <laughs> what the Michael Bay movie almost was, starring Colonel Shredder! <laughs> oh, Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> Our know. teenage alien ninja turtles are all sporting shiny red headbands, and clearly wow. they're the Mirage alien turtles. You might also notice that these are all just basically rubber suits with giant holes on top of the nose and the chest so that the actors don't pass out in there. Though I bet they're probably still enjoying a lot Good of the design of their turtle costumes is basically upscaled Playmates figures, mm. which is extremely evident by things like the belts even being the same. <laughs> so, these are suits based on toys to help sell rip-off toys. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> Our aliens in a half shell 
네. 
가장 환경이 좋은 우리 배틀스타를. That's it. I'm gonna get myself a battle star that's more environmentally friendly. <웃음> 우린 평화를 사랑하는 가달게 공격적인 무기 개발에는 전혀 손을 쓰고 있지 않았지요. I have a bit of a tough time believing that from the people from the planet Battlestar. Useful. Now 
Logan lets everyone know that the professors have been working on the commander robot, and if they turn that vacuum ray into a weapon, they'll have an invincible robot capable of killing the shit out of the shark. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway, Dilligan has outlived his usefulness and goes right back to being a creeper and whines about not wanting Yesler to ever leave the Earth. Maybe together they can have a turtle man hybrid abomination hmm. with a plant on their head. Perhaps <laughs> that's how you get one of those. <laughs> After some ridiculously wretched sky stock footage that is apparently supposed to signify nightfall, Splint Bop and Rock Splinty have followed their nose right to Team Stupid. However, to prove that they are even dumber, they do absolutely nothing to Yesler, the turtles, or the kids, and just grab the wand and leave. Why not just shoot them in too the far. Seat? That's too far for you, let's see. Too far. Hmm, shoot them in their sleep. Is, is this famous guy not the real villain here? I I'm guessing so, Drader. Wait, so Splint Bop and Rock Splinty found the turtles in their helpless regular <laughs> turtle form and just transformed them back? I mean, just stealing the wand couldn't have been what made them change back as Gesler is still <laughs> in her human form. So, it's really going to be the Shark Splinter's fault that they lose <laughs> here. Spoilers. <laughs> that is wow. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of funny. Splint yeah. Bop and Rock Splinty decide to disguise themselves as some Earthicans, but they have stupid faces <laughs> like their old idiot boss for uh <laughs> Wow. Oh, <laughs> alien turtles and giant rats stole your magic wand? <laughs> sure I'll help. <laughs> There's nothing more peaceful than a race called the Battle Soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a part cartoon, part live. Well, it's gonna work, Mm-hmm. I had to say it was dumb to look for the splinters at the disco tech, but 
considering what we've seen them doing, I suppose this is one of Dalgon's slightly less stupid than <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, my favorite shot due to the cropping, now then moving with a disembodied pair of legs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sadly leaving the Disney What is this? <laughs>
Wow, Transformers rip off, rip off the Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> After credits. (laughs) 
Wow. Yes, in the movies. that was the that was the video and man that was a long one but pretty funny and pretty much what I come to expect of a bootleg hey, uh, also known as rip off of the original anyway guys as that's the end of the video I hope you liked it please leave a like, like comment subscribe and uh, next time we're gonna it's, we're gonna next time it's time we conclude who the uh, Waluigi next time we're gonna be concluding the Walu Waluigi arc on SMG4 Till then, take care everyone, and see you later, my students. And, and so, sir, good, you're back. No, not until, I'm back, Commander. Hey, good, not a moment too soon. We're, we're already speaking with the Admiral. Admiral. Oh, you, you, oh, everybody's here now, Admiral. Yes. All right, Commander. All right. I'm, I have, this is the hardest thing I have to say, Commander, but we know, we, since you understand the situation, and you need to be, and, and since you're near the Warp Gate Station, you ought to return to the, to Retro Federation HQ. I was, and, and unfortunately, your ship is to be ground, will be, is to be scanned, cleaned, and also will be grounded. Ship will be grounded. And all the all crewmates of your ship are to return to their to their respective colony planets. It's until well, until the crisis is over, Admiral. If I may, Admiral. Oh, that what if, uh, there what there could be a cure that we can be able to save everyone, <clears throat> Commander. Please, do not. Disobey an order, Commander. We are we are trying to look out for the for the citizens right now, Commander. If you if you stay longer, if you stay on the ship, we don't know if you're going to be if your crew will be affected by that. We were nowhere near the Zeta Quadrant, Commander, Admiral. It's not up for date. Up, it's not up for debate, Commander. Basically, you, you and your crew have to return to the to headquarters immediately, Commander. That is an order. Some wrong, Commander? No. Call everybody up. Are we gonna be? Are we? Uh, are we following the Admiral's advice, sir? No. I think I have a. Um, oh, I'm. It's time we return to our to our other friend, Bendy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Have you found anything? Yes, I found I found some information that may be useful, Commander. All right. All right. Bring it up as soon as you can. We're gonna be hold. It's time we hold a meeting. And we'll show because I think we need to. We must fix the problem. We must. We must save the galaxy ourselves if they're not gonna help us.